I know you're saying it like I know what we're doing, but they don't know what we're doing. They? They. Over there. See you. Over there. Two marble tubs. Mummy. Oh, she's so pretty. Maharaja look. <laughs> it's like something from Sinbad the Sailor. Case. Anybody? And that'll take you to your mezzanine. That's so cool. That would, wouldn't it? Oh, I love that. The Pink City, mm. Jay Paul. We have. <laughs> oh, is it in a state? Mm. Wow. Big speedo dial in the middle. Very cute doors. What you found? Tabletop. Wow, how much? Fancy, I'm not going to do it. You know, I do remember that kind of thing. <sighs> Ours was red. We had a blue one, I think. I don't know, you'd go to ours, but I'm going to lost that over the years. The black cat. Um, sorry, <laughs> In amidst a world which partly seems to be going completely bonkers, I'm specifically working on some gentle acts of self love this week. And as we well know, not everything we do gives instant gratification. I've been thinking back to my depressions. I've suffered from intermittent severe depressions throughout my teens, twenties and thirties, even suffering a breakdown in my mid-twenties. And I remembered something the other day. I know you're saying it like I know what we're doing, but they don't know what we're doing. They? They. Over there. See you. Over there? Yeah. We have to tell them about what we're doing. could take a while. Today we are dismantling this oval table. Why? Because Wendy has opted for some trestles. Facebook Marketplace. Ikea trestles. Second hand. Yeah. Which is smaller, height adjustable, so bye bye oval office. How many years we've had this now? Must be at least three. Three or four? Okay, so don't hurt yourself, but a lift so we don't twiddle the leg and then it's we're going in that way, yeah? Say again, which way? This top is going towards the little wall window. Can we do it the other way? Because I'm no. left handed. No. We've got a crack in my leg. And, no. no. Come to the side. We're going that way. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Get right underneath. Lift and twist. Oh, I can't do that. Tending to myself mattered a lot. Being showered, comfortable, 
in soft clothes was the ultimate comfort to balance all the crazy out there. It helped me be of a peaceful mind where no outside influence could interfere with that feeling thus creating a beautiful feeling of self-reliance and safety. It then echoes to our surroundings and physical spaces. If I also made the effort to tidy and tend to my home, even just a little, it would help so much to brighten my day and thoughts. As we know, the just a little can feel like a whole lot and can be life-changing or even life-saving at times too. Us sensitive beings are sensitive to our surroundings. It really matters. Side is better condition than the out. But the out's actually in good nick, it's not terrible. It's alright, isn't it? I mean, I, if I make a mess on it, I can paint it, can't I? Thank you. Yeah. Move that out of the way. Buckets of water in this place are not a good idea. Not with the Robinson around. <laughs> What do you mean me? <laughs> what do you mean me? You mean me? You mean me, like me being clumsy. Am I clumsy? <laughs> What's next, babe? We need that out of the way, don't we? Yeah, do we need a spot for it then? Well, yeah. So let's, let's, should we do a recce of a spot for it? What, what are you doing with it? I'm going to keep hold of it because I like it. <laughs> I think that's fine. There's going to be quite a lot of stuff there now, that's all. Well, as long as it's sort of tidy and semi-organised. I might sweep. Yeah. Because there's a load of muck down there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Brother Dubs. I might like sweeping. I like sweeping. <laughs> Do you? Mm. I prefer to sweep than hoover. I prefer to sweep than mop. Oh, I don't mind mopping. Yeah, mopping's a bit more... So it makes sense having the butterfly screw on the outside so you can get access. Let's hide it first then. Hide it. So... <laughs> what you know what I mean, don't you? Raise. So, how to... My face fell out. Shall I do it on the tallest then? What are you doing? Just so tallest now. down, put some weight in there, and then it's hold it. What do you mean? What do you need there to get around? Get you to the window to, and get the balance. You need to get to the window. Yeah. So I need to pour. So pour. about that's good. I'll push these right back. Have the table right forward, and you might those things. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's quite good for the. What do you think? What do they think? What do you think? Better? Mark it? It's good because your knees are at the top, which is in the narrowest part, so you're not going to plant your knees. I mean, obviously the higher this is, the better, because it's more light comes to it. And the other thing I wanted was somewhere to have my laptop, you know, maybe at the end. Am I, am I attaching it to the trestles or what? I don't know, do you need to? You don't need to, no. But for God's sake, do not stand on that. Okay. You stand in the middle of that or you'll be on the floor. Okay. Oh my. We've got things that were under it which need to home. 
Oh, you've got lots of room here now, thank goodness. I would prefer it, this if it was a little bit wider and a little bit longer. It's not quite. I know I said I wanted it not to go past that wall, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't really design it to have the chair here. I kind of thought, because I don't really want to sit, with, even though I've got that now, I didn't want to sit with my back to the door, but can we um, bring them forward a bit so that I can get behind? Would I sit here? Oh. oh can I have uh, a latte Americano? <laughs> And uh, chocolate, chocolate muffin. Do you want any chocolate sprinkles, sir? No. Chocolate muffin. Chocolate muffin. Do you want me to heat it up for you in the oven? Melt the chocolate buttons. Fifty quid. And a tip. Okay. Keep it. Too expensive. Okay. So, let's give it a try. I can't imagine it, I have to see it. It's, it's the, the sensation of space here is it's almost like you could have a little thing here. Huh? Almost like you could have a little thing here. Yeah, maybe an easel there. The thing is, that mirror is there strategically for Feng Shui. Because it cuts off that corner, but... Yeah. We've got that big easel, maybe she comes out here. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I mean, the easel could go there. But yeah, I, I, the mirror could go there. But what do you think? <sighs> it is actually quite nice here. Or would I sit this way? <laughs> Sit and study your work. Well, I could sit. Oh my god, that's quite nice actually. I could sit and ponder. It's lovely light here. I know. If you stand here, look, look at what happens. Straight away, I'm casting a shadow here. Mmm. I'm a little nap. Do it. I'm so tired. Oh, I've done that thing. Hey? I've done that thing. You've done what I've done? Yeah. Show the, the people on YouTube what it looks like, and then they can say what, it, what they think. Give you a proper little look. You can see the day bed there. And you. Behind you, you passed me that piece of wood. Uno Planco. Lots of lights here, actually. Yeah, the reason I didn't do an outro, like I say, is because the Oval Office was so wide, it would have meant. You know, a real, but it is, it is really like an L shape and I can use that for storage at the back and then I've got a spot here. I'm really confused by furniture in this room. I have been for quite some time, haven't I? But this is nice. Unless you introduce some light. Unless I move it there. There's options. You could move it there. I didn't really want it there though, but maybe I'm just being stubborn. Maybe it'll look really nice there. So it would extend, if you had it against this edge here, mm. it wouldn't extend more than two inch beyond the white um, thing there. So it'd come out to here. Move this bookcase Yeah. over here. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a lot of mess. It's a bit chaotic right now. <laughs> Not very decisive today. I can't kind of make my mind up. You can go like with this way around, so you can actually push it to seven eight hundred. Mm. I quite like it. I quite like the fact that I'm sitting here looking there and you've got the view of here, you can see what's coming in. The feng shui for the room, you're not going to go back to anything. Like swap sides. <laughs> it's nice here because you can't see the door. I think it's uh, an interesting idea. That was quite a lot of deliberations this morning. Just having a 
tea break and I've got a matcha. I don't really want to have a coffee this afternoon because I'm still in migraine mode really and I'm just being a little bit careful. Still got kind of like the remains of a headache. Anyway, it's been a lot of deliberating as you uh, may have um, come to that conclusion already. And James had this idea that if we turned the table like this, it might work better. Maybe it's not so good feng shui wise and maybe it doesn't look so nice, but it's more practical, you know, and we're a working studio. So we're not really about making a pretty space, although I want it to be pretty as well. I want it to be everything basically, don't I? I'm getting really tired now. It's all the little decisions that need to be made in this process, so. Yeah, treat to have James to help, for sure. And I really appreciate the time that he takes. And yeah, some grapes. It's not a very nice one. Mm -hmm. So I think I've decided that this isn't quite the right size. It needs to be a bit wider, maybe a tiny bit longer. So I might have to find another use for this door, or maybe just paint paint something snazzy on here I don't know mm. but it'll do for now it's really good and I don't mind if I get you know mess on it as well which is quite nice because it's not posh I mean it's nice but it's not posh I really like the trestles and the fact that it's lifted so it's almost like a little bit of a bar area and I can use it you know standing up so right yeah it's certainly changed the room around a bit but I've been wanting to try the day bed over here for quite some time and so it was good to try and see but it wasn't as cozy and nook like and if I put a curtain up I'll show you if I put a curtain up here look. where that beam is um that will be good in case I need to um heat that little nook you know you know what the heating's like in this building over the winter so we'll see what happens so yeah if i put the curtain up then i've got a warm space should anything happen i think the heating's going to work all winter but either way this little person here is going to be cozy and warm not like last year so next i've got this this area here to address and i think i'm going to store most of that if i can underneath the table and what you can't see as well by the um the end of the day bed behind behind that is quite a lot of stuff on the floor i think my sewing machine and i don't even know what's behind there anymore so i think it's time that i did a little recce and a little sort out also going to need an extra shelf because this stuff piled on the table here we're thinking of having a shelf up here so i might move that shelf and put a different shelf there and put that shelf up here to move all that stuff so it's a bit to do in the nook i think yeah that's what i'm thinking so far mm.
so don't faint with shock but it's not hot it's lukewarm but I've got one of those you know key things is it actually focusing there you go anyway I don't think I talked to you much yesterday if at all I can't remember I was lost in a sea of decisions shall we say the decluttering thing has to happen and I'm really feeling and I do get this every single autumn just past the equinox I feel like what they call spring cleaning but I like to do it this season maybe I'm the wrong way round or something I don't know I have been putting up extra lighting and I've got to sort out where these these new ones are going as well so I've come in early this morning good morning I don't think I've said good morning yet have I and I haven't got a cup of tea or a morning brew or anything yet going on I basically need to organize the questions for the q and I do a QA and a every two to three months in the patreon and i haven't checked the questions yet but i like to categorize them so it's sort of semi organized and a little bit more cohesive if you like and then i'll record that and i'm going to try and edit it as well because james is away this week i'm kind of getting ready to go away somewhere at the weekend for a few nights it's a family get together just a little family get together and uh yeah i might take you with me so watch out for that but i'm kind of in the winding down mode if you like so if i can continue with some decluttering that would be great just get a little bit more done perhaps sort out the nook table i did all the floor yesterday but the table still is a bit of a jumble so i might do that i've got some boxes way up there in the like the tall the tall in the high area and um they're full of kind of my jewelry making stuff and ribbons and a load of stuff like that so i've got some boxes i really need to go through and i need to bin a lot of stuff or give it away because i don't need it and i don't use it and then i can put all my jewelry stuff that is cluttering up my other spaces up there because i don't make jewelry very often you might have noticed I've not slept that well the last couple of nights because it's been the solar eclipse, new moon kind of thing. So I did a little astrology catch up yesterday and listened to a few of the podcasts that I like to listen to as well. Yeah, that's about it really. So yeah, nothing hugely enlightening to share with you yet. I might have a cup of tea now. Let's do that first. Do it very often, but now and again, if it gets really mucky, and then clean your brush again, and then you're actually cleaning it with a brush. I've done it's a little bit of a miscellaneous column that one, but anyway, we'll see how we get on. So, I may have to have a, um, a different scenario padding wise for my chair because it's a bit hard, although. Yeah, I've been sat here a while because I've been recording a Q&A and now I am editing it. Well, I was talking to my daughter actually because she keeps messaging me on the WhatsApp, you know. You know how it is. Can I shrink a bit? Yeah, it's taken me a little while in this room. I don't know if you might have noticed. It's taken me a little while in this room to settle in. I feel truly great in this corner, I have to say. This corner feels like a bit of a power corner in the world of Feng Shui. It's partly to do with the fact that I've got a little... Hang on a sec. Partly to do with the fact I've got that kind of wall, the temporary wall there. It just makes it so cosy to sit. So I'm not quite sure you know what it is but I, I can't see the door so I don't feel like I'm actually living in the hallway here because of that and it just I can see the whole room yeah I haven't got anywhere else in here where I can see the nook and I can you know turn and percolate on that so anyway it just feels like that elusive power corner of the room if you like because I've got everything in view I think you've probably seen that we tried everything anyway and James James's brilliant idea of trying it here has really worked and for me I I need to work in situ if you like and just give things a go I need to physically move things to see what it looks like and feels like and then I need to work with it check it out that way so yeah it's working really well i've done the q a now so i just need to finish editing it hardly started editing it i've just been doing the sound and i think i've got the sound right now so i'm doing okay on my focus fox board today but i think it's time 
for a break. I think I'm gonna go and get some lunch in a minute. It's two o'clock, so yeah, a late lunch. I might go to the shops as well because I need some more fairy lights, obviously. And I made a video a few weeks ago now about how changing your space can be life-changing. And it truly is, isn't it? And what I find, as well as sort of taking in, you know, how it's going to work in a practical way, how it feels, how it works in the world of feng shui, also, you know, how it, how it looks as well, because we want it to look pretty and inspiring and all that. And I know it's a working space, but at the same time, it's like all the special objects and plant babies and the way the room feels and is lit, you know, like little bits and bobs and crystals and all that kind of sacred stuff, if you like. It's like the whole process of a space has to organically work with, move with, adapt with, change with, yeah, all that stuff. There she is again. <laughs> It moves alongside us, doesn't it? Almost like, it's like a living altar, if you like, of a, of a sacred space that's constantly moving and shifting with us, with our needs, with our moods, with our emotions, and all that stuff. Anyway, I'm waffling now, so I'm gonna go in the Wendy waffle. Should we get some lunch? I think we should, don't you? But I do tend to eat the same thing every day until I get sick of it, and then I change you know what I mean. Does anybody else eat like that, where they have to eat the same thing all the time for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then you get bored of it, so you switch it up a bit. And it used to drive my grandma mad and my mum mad, because I would only eat certain things, and so I'd know what I, I liked, and if they gave me something different, I wouldn't eat it. I literally wouldn't eat it. I think I lived off baby food and chips for years, until my mum kind of coaxed me onto some variety in my diet but it didn't come naturally to me so let me know I don't think I'll be the only one who's um yeah an eating oddity we all have our little quirks don't we as we've discussed in the last few weeks when we've been talking about feeling like the odd one out being the misfit being the weirdo even and it's not a bad thing it's a good thing we're, we're unique and yet we have these things in common, and I love that. A creative space or art studio has to tick off more boxes than most. It is also a very personal reflection of what we need and also desire from our surroundings. A sacred celebration to our creativity and inspiration. A space to breathe, recharge, get messy, be alone, in preparation for absolute indulgence into the creative process. Creating a space that nurtures our delicate creative flow and the ego that surrounds it. Spaces are a multi-sensory experience which can adapt with us. Moods, phases like the moon to nurture our well-being, mental health, comforts, practicality, productivity, how we function. Can we accommodate all our needs in one space? Filling the inspiration and motivation cups so they are full and outpouring and then we can share and pass on through our work and bless everything we do. So that was me showing myself small acts of self-love. I feel it's important to bring these gifts to ourselves because we truly matter and are worthy to receive them. I hope you feel inspired or encouraged to do a little something, whatever space you have. Plush up the pillows and clean a little corner. Declutter a shelf or a drawer and put love into this action, even if you don't feel like doing it. Afterwards, take a shower or have a luxurious soak in the tub. Then just sit and just be in your space. Wallow in the love you just showered yourself with, quite literally. Love you all to bits. Try to keep your light shining bright and I'll see you in the next one.